All right. Dale Carnegie's Golden Book. As read by your host. Me, Cody. I'm Cody. Nice to meet you. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, a lot of people read stuff or, or, or talk about the things that they've, they are reading and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read this 10 page booklet, um, that I believe originally came out in 1936. It doesn't say that on here, but it said that somewhere else, I believe. Um, but I, anyway, Dale Carnegie is a famous author, if you're not familiar with him. Uh, he has written quite a few books, one of them being How to Stop Worrying and Start Living, and his most famous or most notable is How to Win Friends and Influence People. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read from this book, um, because what this book is, is Dale Carnegie's like notes, like, um, what are those books about? Here are the main bullet points. This is what you need to know. <laughs> um, if you want to know more, read the book. Um, I haven't read at the time of this recording, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living, but I have read How to Win Friends and Influence People. Um, anyway, here I go. I'm going to start reading and I'm gonna to try to make it enjoyable um, because I've listened to some audiobooks that are just shit um, and some that aren't and my dog is over there doing his thing. Um, Anyway, I'm just going to read it, and I'm going to try to make it enjoyable. Um, I feel like that's more useful than me just talking about what I'm reading. Um, all right. Without any further ado, <laughs> here I go. <clears throat> Dale Carnegie's Golden Book, narrated by me, Cody. Let me try that again. Dale Carnegie's Golden Book, narrated. <laughs> I'm gonna post it just like this. All right. <clears throat> That's why it's going to be great because it's just going to be cut straight through. I'm not going to, I'm not going to edit this. I'm just going to, I'm just going to read as I would in real life as I am. Because I want you to see my personality at the end of the day, right? All right. That's what I'm trying to share is who I am. And what better way um, than by reading this? All right. Dale Carnegie's Golden Book, narrated by me, Cody Tatman. Nice to meet you. Welcome to my channel. Um, hopefully this will become, this will become much more polished as we go forward. Dale Carnegie's Golden Book, narrated by me, Cody Tatman. Copyright 2017 Dale Carnegie and Associates. All rights reserved. Golden Book underscore 0418 underscore 1030062. I do not own the rights to this book. DaleCarnegie.com. And I will also leave a link to the app that is literally the content that I'm reading to you right now. 
Page one. To capture lasting, profitable results that drive long-term growth for organizations, everyone on a team must be competent, passionate, and committed. At Dale Carnegie, we invigorate employees by drawing out their natural strengths, building the courage and the confidence they need to take command of their role and achieve the unexpected. And as we help individuals excel, they gain the trust and the respect of the people around them, creating a culture that works at all levels of an organization. We set teams in motion, we set teams in motion and help entire org organizations reach new heights, powered by the unique talents of the individuals who work there. For more than 100 years, we've helped companies of all sizes generate revenue, increase productivity, and reduce costs by revealing their bright and resourceful workforce. Today we continue to cross the borders. Today we continue to cross borders and generations, showing people how to tap into the best parts of themselves to create positive change. Page two is a photo of Dale Carnegie. Dale Carnegie, eighteen eighty eight to nineteen fifty five. Founder. One man's belief in the power of self-transformation became a springboard to millions of successful stories for more than a century. Stories of unforeseen confidence, unexpected team cooperation, and unprecedented business results show just how powerful a commitment to personal growth can be. Dale Carnegie's own story is equally surprising. Born into poverty in the small town of Marysville, Missouri, where he worked on the family farm, he grew up to be one of the most compelling speakers, uh, revered business leaders, and best-selling authors in the world. More than 50 million copies of Mr. Carnegie's books, such as How to Win Friends and Influence People, and How to Stop Worrying and Start Living, have been printed in 38 languages. As a result, more than 8 million lives have been inspired by his timeless values and practices. Page two. Principles, principles from how to win friends and influence people. In bold, it says, become a friendlier person. One, don't criticize, condemn, or complain. Two, Give honest, sincere appreciation. Three, arouse in the other person an eager want. Four, become genuinely interested in other people. Five, smile. Six, remember that a person's name is to that person the sweetest and most important sound in any language. Seven, be a good listener. Encourage others to talk about themselves. Eight, talk in terms of the other person's interests. Nine, make the other person feel important and do it sincerely. Page four, win people to your way of thinking. Ten, the only way to get the best of an argument is to avoid it. Eleven, show respect for the person's opinion. Never say you're wrong. Twelve, if you are wrong, admit it quickly and empathically. Thirteen, begin in a friendly way. Fourteen, get the other person saying yes, yes, immediately. Fifteen, let the other person do a great deal of the talking. 16. Let the other person feel that the idea is his or hers. 17. Let honesty to see things from the other person's point of view. Try honesty. 
to see things from the other person's point of view. 18. Be sympathetic with the other person's ideas and desires. 19. Appeal to the nobler motives. 20. Dramatize your ideas. 21. Throw down a challenge. Page 5. Be a leader. 22. Begin with the Pray, begin with praise and honest appreciation. 23. Call attention to people's mistakes indirectly. 24. Talk about your own mistakes before criticizing the other person. 25. Ask questions instead of giving direct orders. 26. Let the other person save face. 27. Praise the slightest improvement and praise every improvement. Be hearty in your approbation and lavish in your praise. 28. Give the other person a fine reputation to live up to. 29. Use encouragement. Make the fault seem easy to correct. 30. Make the other person happy about doing the thing you suggest. All right. Page six. Principles from how to stop worrying and start living. In bold, it says, fundamental principles for overcoming worry. One, live in daytight compartments. Two, how to face trouble. A. Ask yourself, what is the worst that can possibly happen? B. Prepare to accept the worst. C. Try to improve on the worst. 3. Remind yourself of the exorbitant price you can pay for worry in terms of your health. Page seven, basic techniques in analyzing worry. One, get all the facts. Two, weigh all the facts, then come to a decision. Three, once a decision is reached, act. Four, write out and answer the following questions. A, what is the problem? B, what are the causes of the problem? C. What are the possible solutions? D. What is the best possible solution? Page 8. Break the worry habit before it breaks you. 1. Keep busy. 2. Don't fuss about trifles. 3. Use the law of averages to outlaw your worries. Four, cooperate with the inevitable. Five, decide just how much anxiety a thing may be worth and refuse to give it more. Six, don't worry about the past. Page nine, cultivate a mental attitude that will bring you peace and happiness. One, fill your mind with thoughts of peace, courage, health, and hope. Two, never try to get even with your enemies. Three, expect ingratitude. Four, count your blessings, not your troubles. Five, do not imitate others. Six, try to profit from your losses. Seven, Create happiness for others. The perfect way to conquer worry. One, pray. Don't worry about criticism. One, remember that unjust criticism is often a disguised compliment. Two, do the very best you can. Three, analyze your own mistakes and criticize yourself. 
page 10. Prevent, prevent fatigue and worry and keep your energy and spirits high. One, rest before you get tired. Two, learn to relax at your work. Three, protect your health and appearance by relaxing at home. Four, apply these four good working habits. A, clear your desk of all papers except those relating to the immediate problem at hand. B, do things in the order of their importance. C, when you face a problem, solve it then and there if you have the facts necessary to make a decision. D, learn to organize, deputize, and supervise. Five, put enthusiasm into your work. Six, don't worry about insomnia. The end.